Hi Sagittarius, so today I'm going to be doing you guys this general love readings. These are general, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If this does not resonate with you, don't forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and or Venus signs. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. I love every last one of you guys. Um, it's a lot of new people here as well. Welcome. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So let's see what message we have for you guys, Sagittarius, regarding love, spirit guides. What do we have for Sagittarius? Regarding love. I'm hearing blinded. So maybe you, you don't see something. Either you don't see a relationship coming or... Give me one second, guys. Either... Either you don't really see a relationship coming. Um, you could either be in a toxic relationship here or there's somebody here that's not being honest with you. So it could be this energy of somebody either, yeah. Somebody could be playing mind games here in a current love situation here. There could be somebody playing a lot of mind games or there could have been somebody here who pretty much was blinded by the... Let's say I don't want to I don't feel like it's this person. So I feel like you were blinded by somebody Sagittarius. You were in this energy of like feeling like your the rule was over your eyes. You couldn't really see this person for who they were. You pretty much was blinded by love. It's like you love this person so much that you pretty much you didn't want to see the toxic traits of this person or you didn't want to see this person's bad vibes or anything like that you tried to see the good in this person because you were in a way blinded by love it could have also been manipulation i feel like this person was very manipulative in your life this person could have been very jealous i'm hearing this person could have seen you as competition here and now it's like this energy of you walking away from this person or finally moving away. I feel like this person pushed you away because of this person's manipulation and this person's constant inconsistency and this person's mind games and this person's lies. This person pretty much drove you to walk away. But there's a need for you to keep an open mind when it comes to this person or dealing with this person. There's a need for you to continue to always trust your intuition, trust what you feel. Don't play all your cards. Don't always show all your emotions. Don't fear, you know. Allow the, yourself to not know what's going to happen here. But there's this energy of you also needing to know that you know that the grass was not greener on the other side for this person. You know that. You know that this person truly slipped up. You know that this person messed up. This person pretty much chose to leave you out. And now this person is pretty much going through the karma of that. Let's see what comes out. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini, or a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus. Hmm. You could be dealing with a water sign. Somebody's most definitely watching you. This person is spying on you. This person sees you healing. I feel like this person could also, their, their karmic is also watching you. So there's somebody watching you. This is somebody from your past. I know you don't want to hear about the past, but this is somebody from your past here. I feel like this person could be, um, this person could be making the decision here to get out of a relationship I'm getting or, or Sagittarius. You got three people here. There's like four people here, honestly. You got like a lot of people in your energy right now. You could have a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus in your energy. You could have an Aquarius or a Scorpio in your energy. You could also have like a um a water sign, like I said, an air sign, an earth sign, most definitely. I'm seeing a lot of air, water, and earth here, and Knight of Wands in a reverse is like fire. So 
Sagittarius, there's somebody here that's watching you heal. This person watching you realign yourself. This person's really seeing you as wish fulfillment. Like, this person has a lot of faith in you. This person really believes in you. I feel like this person feels like you are a star, you know? You're one of a kind. This is somebody that really ad admires your body. This is somebody that admires you in the way that you are. This person admires your energy. This person loves your softness, the way that you touch people. And I don't mean physically touch people. I mean the way that you emotionally touch people. Um, this person's really watching you and really stopping to realize, what did I invest in? You know, like, what did I get myself into? Because I feel like this is somebody here who's like, this person never took the time to learn you this person just pretty much never gave you a chance this person just played mind games with you like this is somebody that played a lot of games with you this is not somebody who wanted to genuinely get to know you and you were so blinded by the love that you have for this person that you pretty much threw it to the side you didn't care because you love this person so much you love this person for this person you didn't care about this person being toxic or having toxic traits when you love you love this person for this person because you can see the good in them but nine times out of ten always knowing that seeing the good in someone and actually having the living proof that they are in that energy is better than seeing the good in somebody because then we're going to be blinded by the manipulation, by the lies, and by the deceit. And that's when our intuition is starting to tell us to pull away from these people, but we continue to stay. So it's like somebody's really watching you, and there's multiple people watching you, but you have somebody where, who's watching you, and it's like they're... They're like, I invested and wasted a lot of time and given to a situation that I never really took the time to see the investments that I had in Sagittarius. And it's like somebody's like, it's time for me to reevaluate how much time and energy did I invest in Sagittarius? Did I invest enough? It's like, somebody's like, trying to learn you now they're trying they're watching you this person sees you're aligning yourself you're healing you're one of a kind you're literally one of a kind you're different and this person's like in a way i'm getting like a sad energy this person's like i should have really invested in sagittarius what clarify the seven of wands i'm mean, like getting the energy from the seven of wands it's like i really should have took the time out to think about what I could have invested in Sagittarius. I should have took the time out to stop and just appreciate Sagittarius. Like, this person, don't get me wrong, this person invested time in you. But this person also also wasted a lot of your time. So it's like, this person invested time, but this person didn't build anything with you. This person went to build with someone else. So... This someone else is somebody that's codependent on them. This person relies on them. This person can get very jealous. She can get very vindictive as well. She's not to be trusted. She's in your energy because she's very jealous of you. She has some type of hatred in her heart for you, Sagittarius, and she doesn't even know why. I feel like there's a man here who's beating himself up because of the decisions and the choices that he's made. Also, Sagittarius, I feel like this is somebody that doesn't want to just rush in. This person pretty much made that decision before and it didn't get this person anywhere i feel like you're kind of healing you're letting go of the pain from the situation you know and you're very standoffish at this time because you see through this person's deception you were once blinded queen of cups energy naive vulnerable now you're straight forward you cannot bullshit a sagittarius at this point right now nope if they've elevated from that queen of cups and they're in the queen of wands queen of swords energy you will not be able to lie or get over on sagittarius even if you thought you could you won't so there's somebody that's like i should have really invested in sagittarius i should have really took the time out and got to know sagittarius because now Sagittarius is moving forward and I'm in an unhappy situation that I'm not wanting to be in. It's like somebody's really having to reevaluate what they invested in. And don't get me wrong, this person's like, damn. <clears throat> what does this person want to say? Because that Seven of Pentacles energy is what's really getting me. Like, this person is really having to go really, really reevaluating everything that this person has invested in 
It's exactly what it, what did I just look at that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You were the best thing in my life. So Sagittarius you were literally the star in this person's life. You were the wish fulfillment. You were the dream, girl. You were the fantasy. You were... Some of you guys, your person is married. But let me tell you something. This person is in love with you. And this person is so emotional. Because this person suppressed what they felt for you. And this person pretty much, you know, pushed you away. This person let you go. This person didn't get to take the time to get to know you. And that really bothers this person because this person's reevaluating what he's invested in or she, no gender, so far. And it's like, why didn't I just learn more about Sagittarius? Why didn't I communicate more? Why didn't I get to know more about Sagittarius? Like, you know, she was one of a kind. They were a healer. This is somebody that's magical. This is somebody that comes every once in a lifetime and... I pushed her away. You know, it's like somebody's like, they're in love with you, Sagittarius. They have not expressed it. They have ex suppressed their feelings, 1111. 1138 is 1111. And it's like, they chose somebody who's not reliable, somebody who's very jealous, somebody who's very controlling, somebody who's very possessive, somebody who gets very angry with them, somebody who controls them, somebody who's bossy as shit. And it's like, this is the decision that they made and they're waking up to that. Like, this is somebody who's realizing they may have lost a star. They may have lost a healer. They may have lost somebody who was one of a kind. Sagittarius, do you not know how special you are? Do you not know this energy that you carry? Do you not know that you attract so many people, good and bad? And this person screwed that up with you. Once in a lifetime, a healer, a miracle, something that you've wished and prayed for. And now this person's in their feelings because they're acknowledging these feelings that they feel for you. And they're realizing, out of everything, you were the best. You were the best. They are not fulfilled in life. And they may not get to come back to you or you may not want this person back. But let me tell you something. This person loves you. And I hate to say it because I know this person's an ex. But they speak through me. And I genuinely, genuinely feel like this person fucking misses you, Sagittarius. I feel like this person really wants to reconcile with you. This per person really wants you back and wants to commit to you this time. <clears throat> I feel like this person will literally get rid of an ex or leave somebody who's codependent on them. Because this person knows that they want you and they want to commit to you and really be able to move forward from this situation. But it's really not up to them. And... They really have been suppressing these feelings for so long. And it's starting to come out. Like, it's starting to affect them. It's starting, they're starting to really feel it. And it's like, it's been two years. And they've been suppressing their feelings. They've been in a relationship making it seem like they're happy. But they lost the love of their life. That is crazy. You only get the love of your life once in a lifetime. How do you mess that up with someone? You know, somebody's really, like, at this point, waiting for you. And they're not even sure if they can get you back. Now, that's the thing. When you fuck up with somebody, that's somebody who was literally the best thing in your life. You can't come back from that. You cannot come back from that. You're very defensive. You're very guarded. You're pretty much letting go of this pain here. I feel like you're exploring your options here. You're you're just standing in your power. You're cutting this person out. It's like you have no time to be vulnerable. You have no time for this person to pretty much be... Let me tell you something. In the beginning of the readings, I was dealing with an air sign. So I was dealing with a Gemini. 
And he was very detached. He was very cold to me. I was very vulnerable, very sweet. My Queen of Cups energy. And now they're in the King of Cups energy and we're in the Queen of Swords energy. Now we're cold and detached. Now we're guarded and we're standoffish and we're shut off. And now they're in their feelings. You see how the roles reverse? You see how if this is a twin flame, you're literally reversing roles and you are now the runner and this person is the chaser because they have feelings. Because they're in their feelings now and because you're standoffish and you're moving on. You're letting go of that pain. You're releasing that pain. You're standing in your power. You're no longer letting this person blind you. And you're standing up for what you fucking believe in. Which is seeing the truth for what it is. Regardless of how much it hurts. You're seeing the truth for what it is. And if this person chose somebody else and they thought that they can find better. I'm quite sure you want them to stay where they thought they would find better. Now it's like this person's in the dark. This person doesn't know how to say anything to you. It's like this person could have found out that you're dealing with other options and you really let them go because this person's watching you. And now it's like this person's fucking confused. This person doesn't know what to do. There's so many sevens up here. Really reevaluating. This person's confused. This person wants to open up to you and expose something, tell you something. The truth for once. But I'm not seeing you interested. I'm seeing you standing in your power, letting this go, and blocking this person out. This person can still be blocked. Regardless of how much you love this person, sometimes you got to use tough love. You were once blinded by love, but you are no longer blinded. So yeah, for somebody, you were the best thing in their life. You were. And they screwed up. Queen of Cups in reverse. Mmm. Mm. You see, here's the thing, Sagittarius. I think the universe is about to make things right with you and another person you have feelings for. It could be dealing with a Libra. I feel like you're just very detached emotionally from this person. Like, I don't see you being able to really connect with this person. I honestly feel like, and I hate to say it, I feel like some of you guys really fell out of love with this person. Like, you have love for this person, but you're not in love with this person. When you think about this person, you think about nothing. You feel nothing. You feel angry. You feel hurt. You feel like you gave to this person. You tried to give this person everything. You treated this person as your trophy. And this person just couldn't see that. He just couldn't, she just couldn't see that. This person played games with you when you were in your most vulnerable state. This person thought that you would never leave or you would never find anyone else. This person's eating their fucking words. This person is most definitely eating their words. This person's most definitely stuck. This person's most definitely not wanting things to be over. But let me tell you something, you're not interested you're not interested and let me tell you something this right here is a huge epiphany this right here has shocked this person has thrown this person off their game and it has really shown this person here the opportunity they could have had but they fucked it up with the tower card and that right there is a huge epiphany that right there is a huge wake-up call. Because guess what? Now you're letting this person go. And you're moving on to a soulmate. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're, you got an air sign in here. Most definitely. And they're confused. They don't know what to do. They, I'm not even sure if they planning on approaching you. I just feel like you're very guarded. You could even be guarded towards a soulmate. Like I feel like you, you've been so hurt, Sagittarius. You've been so hurt that you are so guarded, you are so defensive, you are so bruised that you really can't let love in. And I feel like you may have sweet memories with somebody here, or you just have, you've been so disappointed in love. It's like you may have some feelings for a soulmate or someone new in your life, and this may be a change for you this may actually go in your favor Sagittarius you got to believe it's going to go in your favor and I feel like you may actually have feelings for somebody and 
you haven't really let your wall down. You're very guarded. You know, you think of what it would be like to be with this person, but I honestly feel like you really are guarded. You're terrified. You are. You're terrified. And that's okay. And during the current, the, with the current circumstances, you have 100% all of my support to be defensive and standoffish. We went through so much. 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. Those years were the toughest years for us. Why is the star card here? You are a healer. You are one of a kind. You're beautiful. You are a goddess. You are a divine energy. You attract so many people. So many people love you. So many people look up to you. So many people watch you. So many people admire you. So many people dream about you. People lust over you. People cry over you. People believe in you. They will fight for you. Some people can't. Some people will lie over you. You know, a lot of people, you they feel like you're the weight holder of the world. Like they just confide in you. So many different people. And it's hard. Because you're holding on. Throughout everything that you've been through, you're holding on. Why is the star card here? I feel like there's somebody here now. Things did not work out with this person. And the universe is like, we're going to make things right regardless. I feel like there's somebody here who, they may have options, but it's like, it's something about you that's different. Like, somebody's like, stuck on you, Sagittarius. It's like, they see something different. And it's like, this is somebody who most definitely has a lot of options. This person wears a lot of black, like, black outfits a lot. And so maybe it's like, this person's trying to avoid, or maybe this person gets angry, or this person's not trying to fight for competition or anything. This person just wants you this person wants you. This could be somebody who's a little obsessed. Could be a Capricorn energy or a Pisces. Yeah, somebody's obsessed with you, Sagittarius. Sorry to say it, but they are. And this is, yeah, yeah. It's somebody that you have feelings for, that you think about. Okay, so I'm getting like, this person here is like, they watch you a lot. This person observes you a lot. And it's like, this person feels like you're a healer. Like, this person has options. Don't get me wrong. This person has options. But this person's like, it's something about you that's different. Like, you're one of a kind. It's like, I can deal with other women. And I can, you know, because this is somebody that deals with other women. But look at how they looking. This person's looking back. This person is very smart, you know. This person knows how to tiptoe in and out of girls life so this person does have third parties this person does talk to other women but let me tell you something this person feels like they keep looking back at you because they're stuck on you they feel like you're different it's like you're different you're not like these women yeah this is somebody that's thinking about you a lot um i feel like this is somebody who's watching you and this is like i said I'm going to keep saying it. This is somebody who has a lot of options. But it's like you're nothing like this person's options. It's just something about you that's different. Why is the Page of Swords here? This person could be a, a little younger than you. This person's watching you, Sagittarius. This person's watching you because this person feels like you're beautiful. You're you're gorgeous like you are so sexy you are so attractive like you turn this person on when this person sees you they get turned on like this person can watch you all the time like literally this person watches you all the time this person sees you got a lot of people fighting for you you get a lot of attention you sit beautifully comfortably in your energy you looking like a bad bitch period and this is like somebody that's like i ain't gonna lie to you sagittarius she one of a kind she ain't nothing like these girls i'm used to she's not like you admire this person like you really you make this person feel all warm inside sagittarius and you most definitely turn this person on this is somebody that's like I need to learn more about her because she's just gorgeous. Like, she's top tier. She's beautiful. She's a great mother. She can dress her body, her face. Everything about her is nice. Her natural. Her just being her. She don't even got to wear too much makeup to be beautiful. Like, Sagittarius, you beautiful. Like, you really are.
and it's like somebody may be restricting themselves because they're this is somebody here who's could be avoiding you this person could be in a relationship so they're avoiding you they're not really trying to you know commit to you but they're focused on you so much that they're actually manifesting something to you i mean for you so this is somebody here who's not you don't speak to this person you're not speaking to this person but this person watches you a lot like they watch you a lot i mean a lot like this person is always watching you always watching you i mean 24 7 like even if it's at a distance this person is gonna find a way to watch you and this person could watch you by re-watching your stories your highlights uh just watching your facebook posts or this person if this person lives in your area they watch your your I wouldn't say it like that. But if they see you, they'll be playing close attention. If they live by you, they'll be waiting out their window, waiting for you to show up or present yourself. So they can look at you. So this could be like neighbors. You got a lot of secret admirers. You got a lot of people watching you. I feel like there's somebody here who's like... I feel like... There's somebody here that wants to talk as well. This person could be very cold or very detached or this person never expressed themselves. I feel like there's somebody here that wants to talk to you. Why is the Empress here with the Page of Swords? Somebody's watching you. They're spying on an Empress, watching an Empress, trying to learn more about you. They are constantly watching you. This person always... It's something that's drawn this person to you. You're just very beautiful. Like, this person feels like you're a healer. Like... You just, this person loves, it's just, I don't know, they love everything about you. I really can't describe what this person loves about you. Seven of Pentacles. It's like somebody's really, really, really going in and reevaluating. Like, should I deal with Sagittarius? Should I really invest my time in Sagittarius? Like, should I really give her my energy? Like, I really want to invest, but I want to see things go somewhere if I do invest. I don't want to just, I don't want it to not work out. I don't want to not have all the resources. I don't want to like, you know, yeah, there's somebody from your past that's going to try to come back Sagittarius and I don't think you're having it. I don't think you're having it. I think I'm holding back. But whoever this person is that's watching you reevaluating, it's like, this is somebody that's like, I want to invest in you. Like, I want to invest in you. I do. Um, you, the universe is going to come in. You got two people coming at you. Got one person here. It's not going to go anywhere. They just want to sleep with you. You know, it's not going to work. And then you got somebody the universe is sending your way. That's taking a little longer to come. I feel like this past person is still a player, but this person has feelings for you. So this person is acknowledging their feelings, but this person is still suppressing them. Like go away. Anyways, why is the king of cups here? Because this person feels like it's not over. This person feels like it's not over. Things are not over. This person wasn't able to tell you how they feel. This person can't let you go and blah, blah, blah and all of that. And uh, this person wants you back. This person wants to text you. This person's not happy where they are currently. And they're not satisfied. The grass was not greener on the other side. They're going to tell you how they're sad and they're depressed and they're miserable and they just want to meet you they just want to talk to you and all of that and, da -da 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 -da. and how they've been hurt and betrayed and how they just recently got out of a relationship with somebody that was very manipulative and very abusive and very controlling and da -da 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 and all the lies anyways they're just that's just how this person makes me feel like we don't care Anyways, this person got an ex tied to them, like, regardless of if they leave, this person's not going anywhere. So this person may try to return to you, Sagittarius. I don't see you at all taking this person back. Because this person only wants to come to you for sex, okay? This person's going to tell you how much they love you for sex. I mean, if this person does have emotions for you, yeah, this person knows he does. But if this person knows he can't be with you because of all his responsibilities and the fact that he's with somebody crazy, he shouldn't try to come in and lie to you and use emotion for a way to manipulate the situation. Again, he's still not fucking learning. So anyways... Regardless of this person releasing a relationship or telling you he broke up with somebody or actually fucking leaving them, you still don't want this person back. Regardless, there's somebody here. There's another masculine energy who wants to commit to you. There's somebody that's like, I don't feel like this person's focusing. I feel like he's focusing a lot more on his money, his stability. But this is somebody here that's like, I want Sagittarius. 
Because it's like, this is somebody that wants to give equally to you. I feel like this person could be stressed out or nervous. This person may feel like um, you may be giving to someone else. Or maybe you're stressed out because you feel like this person's giving to somebody else. I don't know. This could be a new love. I don't think you guys have really took things anywhere yet. This new love is also watching you. So you got a king of pentacles here. This person is more frustrated though. I feel like there's a new energy here who's taking their time. This person's watching you. Um, this person's watching you and they're probably not saying anything much. Or they're just paying close attention to you, but this person gets a lot uh, jealous easily. Hmm. Why is, this, why is the King of Pentacles in the Page of Swords here? You got a lot of people watching you, Sagittarius. They just, they're stalking you. I feel like this person has this determination to come towards you, but maybe this person, maybe this person's like, they're determined to approach you. They're just waiting or watching or trying to learn more before this person comes towards you. See, Sagittarius, I feel like this past person is going to try to come back. And you're not talking to them. You got them blocked. They're going to try to come back and try to be sneaky. And it's going to be blocked. Like, whatever this person tries to do, it's going to be blocked. Because they're just trying to be deceptive again. Like, they need to just leave you the fuck alone. Stressing out. Doing too much. Because this person is dealing with a very toxic karmic energy who's stressing them out. So this person wants to come and stress you out. No. No. You stay where the fuck you are. You got a new lover energy here. And, you know, I feel like you're this person's determined to come in because I feel like this person wants a relationship with you, Sagittarius. Um, this person has just been going back and forth. Like I said, if this is somebody that has other options, this person has been thinking about who should he invest in or who should she invest in. Like, you know, it's like somebody's like this person's watching you because this person knows that this person wants to come towards you. Like this person does have feelings for you or some type of feelings there. But it's like, it's this energy of like, this person, what's stopping this King of Pentacles from coming towards Sagittarius? I'm hearing for some of you, they don't know how you feel. This person doesn't know how you feel. Okay, so let me clean this up real quick. Give me one second. What's this King of Pentacles? Let's see what's going on with this person. Aside from the King of Cups energy. Hmm. Could be a Gemini, a Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus. Capricorn, most definitely a Capricorn. Okay, so I feel like with this blinded energy here again as well, I feel like you're kind of stuck here. You may have ended something with somebody, but you still like, you still sad about it kind of, and which is making you very guarded here. Because I feel like things may have never really taken off anywhere, but I do feel like you got a new beginning coming in for you, Sagittarius. So there's a Capricorn, a Gemini, or a Leo here. There's a man here. This is a man with the sun card. This person wants to commit to you. I feel like this person, this person is kind of obsessed with you, Sagittarius. I'm not going to lie to you. This person does have this, um, this person feels like ownership over you, I should say. I'm not really getting this like a bad obsession here, but I do see like this person, why is the devil here? Let me clarify that again, because this person may be a little possessive. You know, I feel like, okay, okay, so Sagittarius, yeah, so this person can't really control, so this could be somebody from your past as well, this could be like somebody you've known or went to school with or something like that. 
this person is obsessed with you. Like, I feel like this person feels like some type of ownership over you. And it's because this person wants a relationship with you. So this person's already claiming you as theirs. I do feel like you are going to flirt with this person or this person's going to make it known that this person wants you. I feel like this person's just taking their sweet time right now. Yeah, this person is just taking their sweet time. But you may actually, this person may actually open up. And re you may receive a message from this person. And it's going to shock you because I feel like things are going to go in your favor. You know, they're going to go in your favor. This person gets very jealous, Sagittarius. I'm going to let you know that now. And this person already feels like they have some type of ownership over you or possessiveness. I, um, Make sure this person got some jealousy issues. Like when this person feels like somebody belongs to them, they feel like somebody belongs to them. Like... But there's love here. There is love here. And there is, you know, genuine honesty here. But I know Sagittarius, when I say with the, this is somebody that's very obsessed with you. This person is attracted to you like no other. It says, I'm so attracted to you. I know that you're not going to just let somebody boss you around, which is why I say with this controllingness, ooh, somebody loves you. This is most definitely a new energy. This person's feelings are all over the place. Exactly. Somebody hides who they really are from you. They show you a different side of them. Um, this person shows you the nonchalant side of them, but in reality, this person's obsessed with you. Like, And this person has already claimed you as their lover, but they don't show that. Well, they kind of have made it clear a little bit with the sun card. But they're going to make it clear if they haven't. They're like, you're mine. I hide who I really am. Yeah, this person doesn't tell you how they feel or tell you who they really are. This person tries to bury themselves in work to forget about you. And then it says, I want to be friends and I love you unconditionally. This is somebody who's really trying to hide how they feel for you. This is somebody that really is trying to hide how they feel for you. This person really is so attracted to you, Sagittarius. Like, and maybe this person feels like they're not making it obvious, but this person's making it very obvious because other people know. Yep, this person has an obsession with you. I'm not saying it's a bad one, but this person has an obsession with you. <clears throat> All right. It says, you deserve love. You are lovable. You deserve love, so don't say you don't. It says, unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I feel like that has a lot to do with the past energy. And then it says, give your relationship a chance. Work on this partnership because you deserve love, Sagittarius. Like, get to know this person. You deserve love. You really do. Free yourself from this unrequited love situation. The feelings just aren't there. They're not the same. You don't feel the same way you once did for this past person. It says it's time to take back control of your life. Keep an open mind. Your soul may, may differ from your usual type. And then it says this is a romance of a lifetime. So yes, yes. It's like I feel like there's somebody here who wants to make the effort with you. But this person could be healing some type of family issues right now. And working on their finances. But you're releasing your ex here for sure. You're freeing yourself. Letting go of an ex. And you're being called to have faith in this current situation with this King of Pentacles energy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope this gave y'all clarity. And I'll see you later. Bye.